In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a medium sized caravel in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel tool, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full playlist. Anyway, let's get into building. So here we are on my flat world. What I'm going to be doing in this section is talking about how long and wide, high, uh, how you build this box, how many blocks uh, away from it, all that kind of stuff, and also how many blocks underwater if you are building it underwater, uh, where you need to actually do that. So this one is 35 blocks long, it's 19 blocks wide, and 33 blocks tall. Um, so that's the... yeah. Kind of dimensions of the ship uh, that includes the sails if you just want the whole size it is one two three four five six seven nine i guess yeah it's nine if you conclude the side bits but uh seven if you just want the main parts of the hole and then if you count those it's nine so it's a bit bigger uh than the last one that we did in this kind of series so where are you going to build it underwater well what we're going to be doing is actually having it so say if your water was at this level there we go if you place a block next to that you're going to go down with two so it's one two three blocks and that is the same level that third block is the same level as where you're going to be starting your build so that's where it is nice and easy if you're going to be doing that um also if you are doing it in a dock or having it docked then what I'll talk about now is that, you know this box is going to be quite useful because you can then figure out where the bowsprit is um from this we're going to be directly in the center of it it is 10 blocks over to find the center and then from there it's 13 blocks back to the first part of it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 that's where your first block is and then you can kind of use this if i switch around sometimes it's better it's actually not in this case uh, the ship's so big it's blocking out a lot of the sunlight but um <laughs> Yeah, if you guys want to have a look at where that is, you can then figure that out. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you had your kind of dock there, that's where you could have have it if you wanted it front ways in. If you were going from the back, you can see that the line that we've got on this box is actually where the lantern is. The actual main part of it is one block back from that, and then the rudder is another block from there. So that kind of gives you guys uh, the starting points of where you'll be building it. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the layers. So for layer number one, what we're going to do first is from our square, we're just going to count over. So we go uh, 10 blocks to get to the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this is our 10th one. So I'm going to put one block there. We're then going to go 13 blocks back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Jump the gun a little bit there. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is if you grab oak slab, oak stairs, oak planks, spruce fence, and spruce planks, that'll get us started. Place an oak plank block, uh, one block uh, away from that red block. Then we're gonna have an upside down oak stair on top of that one. We're then on the side of this planks block, gonna have an oak slab on the upper. Now we're gonna go out diagonally, and we're gonna have two oak slabs going back. We're now gonna have three blocks of oak planks, one, two, and three, just behind that. Gonna go out again, diagonally, and we're gonna have three oak slabs, two and three. Then what we're going to do is going to move inwards with three blocks, uh, three oak plank blocks, one, two, and three. Then on the back of that, we're going to have an upper oak slab. Move in with one block diagonally. And on the back of that, we're going to have an oak slab on the upper. Then we're going to have two oak plank blocks on, uh, kind of like moving back in again, like that. And then a spruce fence and a spruce planks block just behind that. So we end up getting quite a quite a complex shape because uh, the bigger the ships get, the more complex they get. So same on the other side, we're gonna have an oak slab on the side of that oak plank block. We're then gonna go diagonally and have two oak planks coming off of that. Ooh, coming off of that like that. We're then gonna have three blocks of oak planks behind it. One, two, and three. 
go diagonal and have three oak slabs like that. Move in with three blocks or three oak plank blocks. Have an oak slab on the back of that one. Then we're going to move in and have an oak plank and have an oak slab on the back of that one. Now you'll notice we've got a big gap to fill in. So grab your oak planks and fill it all in. You can do this with lower slabs. Um, it's just there's no real point because you can't really, well, you can't put anything on slabs. You know, the, the thing you can do, of course, is make like quite interesting like tables and things like that with, with the slabs down there. But you can do that when you get onto the interior. So this gives you a nice flat base. And when we have a look in the ship, if I jump into it, you'll see it looks a lot more usable like this compared to if we had slabs down there. But, you know, it's up to you guys. If you want to change it, you change it. No problem at all. So anyway, that is it for layer number one. So for layer number two, what you're going to do is be one block in front of the last one with an oak plank block. We're then going to have an upside down oak stair either side of those or either side of that block even, not those. Uh, you know what I mean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have an oak slab going diagonal. So go diagonal from that. We're going to have two blocks behind it, one and, sorry, oak plank blocks, one and two, just behind it like that. We're now going to need spruce slab, spruce stair, and spruce planks. We're going to need the stair a little bit later, but we might as well grab it. We're going to have two spruce plank block, uh, spruce, God, struggling, spruce slabs on the upper from that diagonal. So they're going to be from that diagonal there going out. We're now going to have seven blocks, blocks of spruce planks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. Going to have one spruce plank, uh, spruce slab behind it, like that. Now, here, diagonal, we're going to have two blocks of spruce planks just there, diagonally off of that block there. We're actually going to put in a spruce plank block just behind that one for this piece, like that. Now, switch over to your oak planks. We're going to have an oak plank block on top of the slab there and bring another one out just like that. Then we're going to have an upside down oak stair right there. On top of this block here, put an oak plank block. Where we've got the fence, put another fence in and have another spruce plank block in there like that. And there's one thing that I've forgotten, which is right here, put in a spruce slab just like that. So at the front part here, where we've got these two gaps, these are going to be oak planks. So just put in two oak plank blocks like that. And where we've got this here, put in an oak plank block as well there. So let's do the same on the other side now. So oak slab, bring that back diagonally with just one. Behind that, you're going to have a total of four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. This will save us having to fill in the blocks we've got behind here. Oh, and also put in a block there as well before I forget that. So then what we're going to do is the last two of these oak plank blocks, we're going to have two spruce slabs on the upper piece there. We're now going to have seven spruce plank blocks behind it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. We're going to have one spruce plank on the back of it. Behind this, we're going to have three spruce planks, so including this one here, so one, two, and then three, so it sticks over by one like that. We're going to have a uh, spruce slab on the upper piece coming out from that. Switch over to your oak planks. We're going to have two oak plank blocks here, including in this back one there. And then an upside down oak stair just to finish up. But that's it for layer number two. So for layer number three, what we're going to do is if we just grab a uh, spruce plank block, block, we'll use that one, place it directly on top of the last layer and then have an upside down oak stair here. That's what we'll start off with because we need to bring that one forwards. We're then gonna have an oak plank block either side. So just on that side piece there. Have an upside down oak stair block right next to that one. Now we're gonna switch over to spruce planks. So we're gonna have three spruce planks blocks behind this. One, two, and three. God, I'm getting tongue twisted there. Like that. We're then gonna have an upside down spruce stair. Now we're going to have one spruce block behind this. Then we're going to have three blocks of oak planks. One, two, and three. Then three blocks of spruce. One, two, three. And then four blocks of oak behind this. One, two, three, and four. So it goes over by one. We're then going to have an up uh, uh, spruce 
God, I'm struggling. Oak slab on the upper piece. There we go. I'll get there eventually, guys. Then over with your spruce planks behind this, where we've got this little gap. We're going to have a spruce plank block. And we're going to have another two more, so it just goes over by one block from the last layer here. Then have a spruce slab on the upper piece there. We're now going to have an oak plank block. Then on this one, an oak stair upside down like that. And now over the top of this fence piece, we're going to have an oak plank. We're also going to have a spruce stair on the back, normal, because that's going to finish up the rudder piece like that. So that's all looking pretty good. So let's do the same on the other side. So you're going to have an upside down oak stair. We're now going to have three spruce plank blocks behind this. One, two, and three. Then on the side of this one, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Then one spruce plank block behind that. Then we're going to have three lots of your oak planks, one, two, and three. Then three lots of your spruce planks. Then we're going to have four of your oak planks. Then have an upper oak slab on the back of that. Behind that, you're going to have spruce plank, and we're going to have this going out by two more so that it ends up just sticking over. So you get this like block slab, block slab, block slab is pretty much what you're looking for. We're then going to have a slab on top of that, spruce slab on the upper piece there on the back, an oak plank block right here, and then an oak stair upside down on the back to finish it up. And that is it for layer number three. So for layer number four, grab your spruce plank block and place that directly on top of the last block that you had. Then have an upside down spruce stair. Have a spruce stair upside down on the side of this as well. Switch over to your spruce plank block and place that directly on top of the oak stair block that you had before. We're then going to have two oak planks behind this, one and two. Now on top of this one, we're going to have two oak plank blocks, one and two. You're going to need to grab an acacia slab. This is part of the kind of beak part of it, the, the detailing. But grab an acacia slab. You can have a lower on this one and then an upper on this one. Now you might as well finish up the other side as well because the rest of it's lots of bits. <laughs> so we'll do an upside down spruce stair here. Then going to have a spruce plank block on top of this one. Then we'll have two oak plank blocks behind this, one and two. And then another two oak plank blocks here, one and two. Then we have a lower acacia slab right here, and then an upper acacia slab right here like that. So if we go back to the other side, what we're going to do is we're going to be crisscrossing, as you can see on this, lots of um, block changes between spruce and oak. So you're going to have one spruce block there behind those ones. Then we're going to have an oak block like that. Then we're going to have a spruce block. Then we're going to have three lots of oak. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have four lots of spruce. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have two of oak. One and two. So the good news is, once we've done that, it's a lot easier to copy. So you can see there, one spruce, one oak, one spruce, three oak, and then four spruce, and then two oak. There we go. So that's good. So back onto this side, we're going to do an, uh, an upper oak slab right there like that. Then with our spruce, where we've got this gap here, placing a spruce plank block. We're going to have another one on top of that one. And then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the back of that one like that. Across these three blocks here, we're actually going to have just spruce plank blocks. Just going to cross there like that. And with a spruce slab, we're actually going to have one here and one here on the upper on either side of it. So let's continue this on the other side. So you've got a upper oak slab like that. Behind that, we're going to have a spruce plank block, then another spruce plank block, and then an upside down spruce stair. Oh, don't place another block. And that'll do that. And that's it, guys, for layer number four. So for layer number five, what we're going to do is start off with your spruce plank block, place that on uh, directly on top of the uh, spruce stair we had before. Now with an oak stair, we're going to have an oak stair normal this time, just on top of the spruce stair that we had before. We're going to have another spruce, uh, not spruce, oak stair behind that, like that. We're going to have an oak plank block in behind this, and right on this block here, we're going to have a spruce plank. So. Oak stair here, oak stair here. We have an oak 
plank block in behind it like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of spruce planks, one and two, just behind that like that. Then a spruce stair in on top of the uh, of the last oak like that. And actually, I've just noticed I've missed up one or messed up one block. This one right here isn't a spruce; it is in fact an oak. And spruce is right on the side there, so that then connects up together. Right, if we do the same on the other side, we'll then do the acacia slabs around the front. So right here, we've got an uh, oak plank block behind the last lot. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of spruce planks behind this, one and two. And on top of the oak plank block that we've got, we're going to put a spruce stair like that. So if we go over to the other side, grab your acacia slab. And what we're going to do with this is right here, we're going to have a lower acacia slab. Then we're going to have an upper acacia slab. Then we're going to have a lower acacia slab. Then an upper and then an upper like that. It's all part of the detailing side of it. It's the same over here. If we start off right with this stair. We have a lower acacia slab, then upper, then lower, then upper, then upper like that. So then behind this, what we're going to do is we are going to have seven spruce plank blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that. We're then going to have four blocks of oak. One, two, three, and four. Two blocks of spruce. One and two like that. And then a block of oak planks. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So seven blocks of spruce. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to have four blocks of oak. One, two, three, four. Two blocks of spruce. One and two. And then one block of oak planks on top of it like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is grab yourself acacia stairs. We're going to have an upside down acacia stair right here pointing towards the middle of the ship like that. Then we're going to have um, an acacia slab here. And then we're going to have another acacia stair pointing towards the middle of the ship like that. Do the same on the other side because then we can meet it all up in the middle. So you get stair, slab, stair like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is, if we, for the time being, just put in a dark oak plank behind these two, like that. We're actually going to have to replace that with a stair in a second. Um, and then also have dark oak going actually all the way across. This will give us a nice platform to build the next bits. Right in the middle, we're going to have an acacia slab. And then we're going to have an acacia stair on either side of that, like that. Then we're going to grab a dark oak um, stair. There we go, dark oak stair. And then here, that block we're going to replace that one with that and it's going to be um, facing the, the kind of center the front of the ship so that's why it gets this little bit of wrap around it gives it more of a circular shape when you've got this coming out um, which is kind of well it is what we're going for even which is good and then just in here we're going to have a dark oak plank and a dark oak plank like that I'm not totally sure but I think we're probably going to end up with some more on the inside we might not um, so it might be we you know you can put in those but probably actually save them for a bit of a bigger interior which will all look quite cool so the only other thing we need to do is actually grab dark oak slab so we've got three on that side and three on that side okay so I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm winging this just so you guys know but um, with your dark oak slab we're gonna have three right here where we've got the first spruce plank block one two and three do the same on the other side so one two and three like that and then where we've got the oak, there we go, this, this four set of oak, if we, from the back part of it, just do two. So we leave these two here, we go one, two, and then three. So it goes on to the spruce as well. So one, two, and then three like that. That'll be for when we get the um, doohickeys going up the shrouds. <laughs> there we go, get there eventually. So there we go, guys. That is it for layer number five. And for layer number six, what we're going to do is right on the front place a spruce plank block directly on top of the last layer. Then you're going to have an upside down spruce block coming forwards from that from that bit, bit there. We're going to add an extra two, uh, actually just an extra one block even, uh, of spruce just behind that one. Then on top of this oak block that we got here, this oak plank block, we're going to place spruce on that one. And then again diagonally as well, we're going to have another spruce block like that. Gonna need to grab a dark oak stair, and we're gonna have a normal stair facing forwards, and then we're gonna have one facing backwards like that. And then what we're gonna do on this block here, we're gonna have an upside down dark oak stair, 
and then on the other way, we're going to have an upside down dark oak star stair. So you get the little archway like that. Then what we're going to do is if you grab acacia slab, we're going to have an acacia slab on the upper piece right on the front of that stair. We're going to have a lower one on either side of this. And then we're going to have an upper one on the top part of it here. Oop, there we go, like that. Upper one around the sides there. We might as well actually do the other side. So we place down the spruce block, planks block on top of the oak one. Same one going again. We'll then have normal stair, dark oak, either side of that. So one facing forwards, the first one facing forwards, the second one facing backwards. Then have an upside down stair and an upside down stair like that. So we get those two there like that. And then what we're going to do is if we finish up these bits with the uh, acacia that we've got. What we're going to have right here is we're going to have an upper acacia slab here and then a lower acacia slab there like that. Then the same on the other side, upper then lower. And we're now going to grab warped fence. And what we're going to do is, if we do it on the other side it's going to be easier. Um, what we're going to do is have it on this oak stair that we've got here. We're going to have one on top of that. Another one on the oak stair and then another one here like that, and then we'll do the same on the other side, so one, two, and three, like that. Then with our dark oak slab, we're going to have four lots of them, so one, two, three, and four, just behind what we had before, so one, two, three, and four, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a upside down stair, just after that slab that we got that, and then another upside down stair, so again we're making these little arches, if I can place the blocks properly, there we go. Upside down stair and upside down stair, so same here as well. Upside down stair and upside down stair like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is with a uh, spruce slab, we're going to have two spruce slabs behind this. Oops, there we go, those two there like that. With our dark oak planks now, we're going to have two going inwards, so one and two like that, and one, two. Like that and this is where we're going to actually have access to the cabin so this one does have an actual cabin on it because it's big enough for us to be able to do this kind of section it does drop down uh, but it does have a little cabin and then we'll be building this kind of upper deck part of it as well as we keep on going up but those are the first uh, kind of bits of it so right at the back grab your oak planks and actually no before we do that grab your spruce planks on the side of this one here we're gonna have a spruce plank block then another spruce plank block behind it then we're going to have two oak plank blocks, so right behind that. So on the other side, we've got spruce plank there, spruce plank there. Then two oak planks just behind that. Then we're going to have a spruce slab, spruce slab, like that. Dark oak planks, we're going to have one on the side, then one going back. One on the side, then one going back, like that. And right on the corner, we're going to have a dark oak plank block. Now what we need to do is grab, now I used um, just normal glass pane for this, you could use coloured if you wanted to, we're going to have glass panes in all of these ones here, like that, so that's where we have our glass panes, we're also going to need, um, at least that's what I did, uh, warped trapdoor, and just put those on the glass, all of them except the middle one right here, so we don't put it on the middle one, we do have it on the sides, and then with your warped fence we're going to have that either side of the windows, like that, just realised that I was supposed to have, right here, an acacia slab on the last layer. So just put that on those those ones there, and then we can put the fences on top. And fences on there, just like that. So there we go. So we'll now put in the floor on this one, um, and then we'll be done. So for the floor, you're going to need to grab a couple blocks. Um, you're going to need a jungle slab, a ladder spruce trapdoor, composter, stripped dark oak wood, and also an oak trapdoor. So those are going to be the blocks that we're going to be requiring. Um, we're also going to actually need dark oak slab as well. We're going to need one of them. So if we start from the front, grab your jungle slab. This is going to be on the upper. So have one right on the top part here, and then one on each of these corners. We're then going to have a dark oak slab right there on, on like that. That's because of the bowsprit. So that goes all the way through. You could technically put in a, a dark oak block instead. Uh, we'll have a look at how it all turns out to see what we want to do with that. Uh, but you get that in there. We're then going to have a composter behind this. And with our stripped dark oak wood, we're going to bring that down 
right in like that. So this is going to be the front mast. With your jungle slabs, we're going to have lower slabs on either side of this. One, two, and one, and two, just like that. And then we're going to have a spruce trapdoor, which is going to be our way into the uh, main kind of hold of the ship. And we can put some ladders onto that as well. So I don't usually go down to the bottom of the ladders so that I can walk around it without being carried up. So at least here you can hit into it or walk around these bits, but you can still jump to get up onto it. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to do the same, really. Right, so jungle slabs, we're now going to be onto the upper piece, but a whole layer down. So let's bring one solid level going across there like that. And then with our oak trapdoors, we're actually going to be over this gap, free wide. And we're going to go, go five back in total. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's make that free wide. This is going to be the way that we can get into the uh, cargo hold. Then with the jungle slab, just on the same level, bring that all the way around. There we go, like that. So you just frame it. Um, on the sides, it's going to be on the same for those two and those two. And the only difference is, well, one difference actually, we've got to get rid of a block. This block we'll get rid of. We're going to put in a composter just sticking out by one block. We can then put in the post going all the way down like that. And then we're going to have a lower slab here and then an even lower slab. <laughs> don't think that's the right word, even lower slab, but you know what I mean. Another low, lower slab right down like that. And this is where we're going to have all of the level of the cabin in here. So this is where all of your slabs go in now. So it's going to be one block lower than the main deck so you do have to walk down into it there we go so get something like that we can just take these blocks that we've already got and we can plonk them in to make the little room like that technically of course we don't need that block there we could leave it if you wanted to i don't know it's up to you guys whatever you want to do um but then we got that and we could do with the door so i used a dark oak uh door for this one and i placed it in this way around so that when you drop down you can then open it no problem at all, and same when you go up as well. Um, but you know, if I, oh, it's quite impressive. Um, <laughs> but you can see how it kind of works here. So you end up with like a slab above it, and then this is the this is the kind of space that you end up with. So apparently, I just filled in the floor there rather than going down on those bits. But uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want really. I fit through that gap perfectly, don't I? So there we go. So that's all looking pretty good. So I must have done with this one. I actually did a spruce slab instead on top of that and then have the blocks and that might be a little bit better uh, it might not be it depends on what you guys think and what you want you could potentially as well i wouldn't do it but you could technically split the deck into two into two different ones i would leave it as one bigger one and have lots of cargo in here because you're gonna have this small one anyway and um you know nobody likes to be walking <laughs> completely hunched over all the time so that's what I would do, but uh, but it is up to you guys. I don't know how I punched that one out, um, but it is up to you guys what you want to do with it. But at least, guys, that is it for layer number six. And for layer number seven, what we need to do is if you grab your dark oak slabs, where we've got these stairs that we put in before, we're just going to put slabs directly on top. So dark oak slabs directly on top, just like that. Then what we're going to do is with a dark oak plank block, we're going to place that on top of the spruce layer that we had before. And again, and coming in with another one, and another one again. And then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have dark oak slab just on the front of that one there, because this is going to be part of the bowsprit. So what we do behind here is put in a slab as well. So we put that in there. With our acacia, we're going to have uh, this one's actually going to be up. So if it's best, or it's easier to build it this way. So put an upper slab there, and then a lower one right there like that. Where we've got these pieces of fence, we're just going to put an upper slab on top of it, of acacia, like that. There we go. This is all starting to look like it's finishing itself up, which is good. Right, so on to the back now. What we're going to do is where we've got the stairs, the last stair is where we're going to put a dark oak slab, like that. Right in the middle, either side of the door, we're going to put in a block of dark oak, and then in the middle of that, we're going to put a stair. Um, it's because you can't step down without then crouching and it really annoys me so that's why I put in a slab there so you can just step down up to you guys what you want to do with it that's that's honestly the only reason why I've done it that way 
Um, either side of this, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair. Like that. On one of the sides, it's up to you guys. Um, I ended up doing mine on the left hand side. Is where I end up putting my uh, ladder. You can of course put it on the other side. You can have it on both. I would I would go with just one. But uh, if one of those sides put in a ladder. Uh, this time I did put it all the way down. But you could punch that one out if you get annoyed by getting stuck. Uh, I mainly did both of them for looks. Uh, there wasn't any other reason. And actually, I forgot about the stairs on the side. So right in the middle of these two. Just put two sets of stairs going down. I think it's two sets. Yeah, it is. So two sets of stairs. You can, of course, now that we can waterlog stairs, go a little bit further if you wanted to. Something doesn't feel right with those slabs, but I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. I just think these slabs look a bit strange, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Weird. Anyway, right. Back to your dark oak stair. What we're going to have on here is we're going to have a normal stair going towards the middle. They're going to have a stair looking towards the back so it curls in like that. They're going to have a dark oak plank block and then two stairs like that. And then three blocks over the top. One, two, three. And then just bring this across the back and two, three. Two normal dark oak stairs, then a block. Then what we're going to do is going to have this one's going to be looking towards the back and this one's going to be normal like that. We're also going to need a uh, spruce slab. And where we've got this spruce block here, it's the next one over. This one's going to have a slab on top of it. So just put a slab on top of it like that. With your acacia slab, where we've got the little windows, we're going to put this over the top. So we go on lower, then upper, then lower. And we do the same on the back as well. So we just have this wavy pattern going on. Like that. You can, if you wanted to, put a stair in here instead of a block. Um, I don't really like it. Whenever I've got something like a trapdoor on there, if I didn't have the wind, uh, if I didn't have the trapdoor, I would totally do that. Um, but if I've got the trapdoor, I tend not to because it ends up looking a little bit weird, like like it's kind of pushed back or something's gone wrong. Basically, it ends up looking like. But that's just me. That's me personally. If you guys think it looks best or whatever, go with it. Um, so jungle slab. What we're going to do is we're going to have four blocks of jungle slab. It looks like so one, two, three, and four, and do the same on all of these and then just in the middle add an extra slab in there like that so that starts to build part of your rubber deck you do get a really nice cabin on this one I have to say it's very cool and very nice uh, much better than some of the other ones that I've done so at least there's that but guys that's it for layer number seven so for layer number eight what we're gonna do is first depending on where you put your stair um, we're gonna have an upside down stair next to that one and another upside down stair on the other side. So you just build a little thing. Um, what we're then going to do is grab a grindstone and put that in behind it. There's your wheel, captain's wheel. It's up on the upper deck. Probably more likely be down here, um, honestly, but it's just the spacing of everything that we've got on the ship that just kind of fits here. So that's actually kind of like natural place for it. Um, what we're going to do as well with a composter, we're going to be two blocks back from that. So, oh, sorry, I should say two, two block gap. It's probably better. Um, for that, have that in there, and then knock this out. And I just realized on my build, I haven't actually knocked this out at all. So mine just is stuck on the deck and somehow doesn't fall off uh, or break or anything like that. So it actually makes the cabin a lot smaller. I guess what you could probably end up doing is having smaller uh, cabins along the side and then have one of them that goes into there and maybe have two, two small cabins. I don't know. I haven't done the interior on this one yet, but I will show you guys what I ended up coming up with. That will probably be something, something similar to that. Anyway, with your stairs, we're going to be over these ones with an upside down stair. So you push that in, leave the corner, don't do anything with the corner. And then have another up, upside down stair on the side there. Where you've got this black block, put in a slab, just a lower slab. Then we're going to have an upside down stair, upside down stair. Then we're going to have two slabs here. Behind this, we're going to have a stair, normal stair this time, not upside down. And then another stair there like that, so those two are in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks at the back like this. So if we, we'll do it from this side over here. So we get an upside down stair here, then another upside down stair like that. Then we get a slab. Then we get an upside down stair, then an upside down stair there like that. Two slabs, one and two. And then we get normal stair here and another normal stair there like that, so we get those two. Now with your jungle slab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a slab here, 
slab here, and a lower piece. And I'm going to have two slabs in there like that, so you can then get up, and that's the highest part of it. But as you can see, you know, you can actually you know walk up to it and everything. So it's quite nice and detailed with the kind of waviness of the whole thing on this upper deck. Um, that's the idea of it anyway. But there we go. That is it for layer number eight. So the next layer, we're going to finish up the whole details. Um, and yeah, we'll get onto that. So for the final hull details, what we're going to do is where we've got these two stairs here, we're going to put some slabs on. So dark oak slabs just on top of those. We're then over this part here, going to have an upside down stair. So I've obviously just had to build a little bit of a platform onto it, but you know, you have to do the same on the other side as well. Have an upside down stair in here. You guess the next block, guys. If you've done one of my tutorials, get an anvil, whack it in on the back because, you know, it's what I, it's what I do. Um, so put that on there. You don't have to do it, but hell, it's just, it seems to be a feature of every single one of my ships. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll replace it with something else. Uh, let me know if there is anything I can replace it with uh, to <laughs> vary my ships a bit. Uh, anyway, put a dark oak slab on top of the anvil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to step up with dark oak slabs, a couple. So we've got one, two, and three like that. Then grab yourself a lantern and whack that on. If you want to put it on a bit more of a chain, feel free to do so. You know, grab yourself on the chain, wherever it is. There it is. Um, you know, if you wanted to have it a little bit further down, feel free to do it if you wanted to. Um, for me, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll have one chain. Yeah, one chain looks good. I'm going to go with that. Or you can just have it as one, like it is. But guys, that's it for the whole details. Nice and simple. So we'll get on to putting in the masts now. Okay, so we're now going to put in the masts. So just grab a couple blocks. You're going to need a composter again, uh, stripped dark oak wood, granite wall, spruce fence, a barrel, dark oak slab, dark oak stair, and also grab an oak fence as well. Might need a couple of uh, blocks, maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. But uh, for the time being, we're going to start with the front, and we're going to add eight blocks of stripped dark oak wood on top of the last well, where we've got the composter, which is in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then with our composter, we're gonna have two of these, one and two, and then two on the front of that as well. Uh, and there is, of course, a block that I totally forgot about, which is spruce trap door. So we're just gonna put that on the back of this one, like that, to cover up the cover up the composter. You can also use barrels in this part of it if you want to. Um, what you're going to have from here is have eight on top of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're going to have two of your granite wall, one, two, and then two of your spruce fence on top of that. Just like that. That's all looking good. Cool. So what we might as well also do, I haven't actually counted out this part of it, but um, where we've got the front part of it, we're going to do the bow sprit. So we're just going to go up with slabs. So we go up a slab each time. And we'll go right to, luckily, the end of this, which is, if I count it out now. So where we had this before, we had this one here. So we've added on top of it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now that brings you to the edge of the kind of plot thing here. Uh, we're also with uh, oak fence. We're going to place that on the front here. We're going to drop down one and then go out, then drop down one and go out, drop and go out. And just do this as a nice little pattern. Going all the way down. So you might as well sort this bit out. Like this. And this will also help us see if we've got that bowsprit correctly. Because we should be. There we go. And we should have one there. And then this one right here is left. Now what I did with mine is I ended up uh, removing the ones at the bottom. I've been doing this on, on my ships lately. And actually I've been kind of liking it. Um, it's just anything that's like not huge as a ship. Uh, which this one's like medium sized. Um, I've just been preferring it. I prefer the look of it now. Um, and I totally didn't before. So it's because of people on my Discord post me pictures about stuff. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do for the middle one is I'm going to add 11 blocks of your stripped dark oak wood on top of the next composter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we're going to have two composters on top of this. One and two. Two forwards on the last one. Cover it up with a little spruce trapdoor. You can see where that work is, is working now, just to cap it off. Also kind of looks cool, I think. 
Uh, but yeah, we got that. We're now going to add eight blocks on top of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And two granite walls and two spruce fences on top of it like that. Then if you grab uh, this time, I actually tried it out with the oak um, fence gates. It kind of it looks okay, I think. So we can put that in as well. Um, so what we're going to do here is from the top, go down to the second one of your stripped dark oak wood blocks and we have an oak trap door, not an oak trap door, an oak, <laughs> get there eventually, oak fence gate going across and another oak fence gate. Then what we're going to do is go down, which is really difficult apparently with, uh, really difficult apparently, wow, does not want to click on it, right okay, so we're going to have to place a block I think, it's going to be the easiest way isn't it, Let's just place down a block, now we get one, two, three like that, then do the same. Get a block in there and do one, one and two like that. There we go. So trying it out with fence gates. You can also do it with just fence. And I would go if you did it doing it with fence, go one, two, three here. Then go one, two, three, one, two, three, or something like that. Uh, might work. Or well, should work. But uh, see if that way you go one, two, and join it down the bottom. It's totally up to you guys what you want to do. But at least that's in there like that. So for the back most mass now, what we're going to do is going to have seven blocks of stripped dark oak wood on top of that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to have a composter, just one this time. One going forwards with your composter. Again, block it up at the end like that. Then we're going to have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have two granite walls and two spruce fences like that. Cool. And then all we're going to do is grab, just to join these two up, grab your oak fence, and if we do it from the top here, we'll work our way down again, so down to the same level as where you got your fence gates on there, just go down, then down again, then out, then down, then out, then down, out, down, and out, and then I just knocked out the bottom bits that we placed in there, just to use it as our, kind of like a scaffolding type thing that we've got going on there, but what we'll do now is we're going to put in where the actual uh, masts are going. So for the frontmost one, what we're going to do is right on the front here where we've got these two composters, have a barrel sideways like that. Then we're going to have one block of the stripped spruce wood, uh, spruce wood, stripped dark oak wood, either side of that. So we've got a free like that. And then we're going to go out. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to have another three, one, two, three, and then a two. So there we go. So you get basically three, three, two is the pattern for this one. And we're doing it at an angle as well. So one, two, three, one, two. Um, the reason we angle it is because when we put the wind in the sails as it is, uh, it really helps with the shape. It helps massively with the shape. It just makes things, uh, well, so much easier. So yeah, that's the reason we do it. Right. So at the top of this one, we're going to go one, two, three. So go to the third block, have your barrel going sideways. And this time it's going to be a three and then a two. So you end up putting one each side of this one. And going one, two, like that. So one, two, just like that. There we go. All looking pretty good. So for the next one now. So for the next one now, what we're going to do the main mast. Where we've got this uh, kind of double block of composters. Just go down one block and we're going to have a... Damn it, go down one, leave, leave a block even, and have your barrel going sideways. Now what we're going to do for this one is, it's actually going to be a five, so we're going to add an extra two blocks onto each side of this one. Then we're going to go out, and we're going to have a five. Like that. Two, three, four, five, like that. Uh, for the one at the top, leave these two, and then the next one that we've got here, so the third one down, this one you're going to have your barrel, so it's above, uh, below even the uh, fence gate that we've got there. Add in an extra block onto it, and then we're going to have three blocks going out to three. So it's a three and a three for this one, like this. There we go. That's what we get. And then for the back, because this one is like the spanker, um, so it's a totally different type of type of thing. Uh, what we are going to do for this one is it's going to be a. So I'm having to look at it on my picture. It's going to actually be so here we're going to actually have it above by one. So we're going to have one block from our composter. That's when we're going to have a dark oak stair. Then forwards from this, we're going to have a dark oak stair like that. And then another one and another one. 
So we have a set of four going that way. We're now going to move out diagonally with dark oak stairs. So we have a dark oak stair there. And then do another set of four with this. So one, two, three, and four like that. So one, two, three, four. And then what we're going to do is right at the bottom here, uh, we're going to go two blocks up. So you've got one, two. It's on the, on the second one on the upper piece. We're going to have a slab on that one. So dark oak slab. Then go two this way like that now we're going to go out and diagonally up as well so we're going to go two three so we're going to go at a, di at a diagonal but you know just go over one and back sorry over one and up one slab wise you can see what it's easier to just to see what i'm doing so you just <laughs> move over by a slab like that then we're going to do the same again with freeze as well two three like that so you end up with this kind of thing so we're just Basically taking this, it's going up a slab, but we're also moving it out as well so that it kind of goes in a step kind of with that one. So with our oak fence now, we're going to go one, two, three, and four, I think. I'm going to have to have a look. Nope, it's freeze. Okay, so set of three instead. So we got one, two, three. Then we're going to go out, two, three, then out, two, three, like that. And then we're going to push this one out. I'm having to cheat a little bit here. Push this one out here, then go back, and I'm going to have a four on the end there, so you just join it up that way. So we go one, two, three, out, two, three, out, two, three, then you go across this way, then back, and it's just a four on that part of it. A little bit complicated, I guess, but it's not too bad, I don't think it is anyway. Um, so there we go, that at least has got our masts all done, they're looking pretty good as well. Uh, what we can do is, or what we will do in fact, is we're actually going to grab a couple extra blocks. We're going to grab a birch fence and we'll also grab a ladder as well um, and spruce slab and spruce stair if I have one. There we go, spruce stair like that. So we're going to put in the um, bird's nest, crow's nest, whatever they're called, things. So if we start with the frontmost mast right on where we've got this going across the side, we're going to have a stair here. Then we're going to have a slab. Oh, I haven't got the dark oak. Slab. I need a spruce slab. There you go. Spruce slab. There we go. So we get stair, spruce slab either side of this. Doing to go out with a slab as well on the side here. This is all going to have birch fence on top of it. So it's just to vary the blocks we're using. That's all it's about here. And then with this one, we can pull this down with your ladder. So at least you can then, if you wanted to climb up on it, you can. Uh, obviously, you've got this little bit here, but that's fine. Because you got the slab, you just, uh, not the slab, you can just jump anyway. And you can get up into this bit, kind of. I mean, you've got, got a bit of a fence gate in the way, so really you can't. But you know what I mean. It's fine. Right, so for the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to have a stair right here. So this is on the top part of the uh, composter. Another stair here. We're actually actually going to wrap around that stair. Then we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have a slab going out. So we get a stair. Stair wrapped around a little bit there. Then we have one going out there. We can put in the ladder, probably down to that point. Put in your birch fence as well, like that. Then we've got one right at the top as well, which is just going to be a stair. Stair. And then we're going to have slab, slab, slab. And then can't really have a slab here, so we're not going to have a slab there. Actually, I think with this one, because it's so small. Yeah, just put a stair on there instead. It's going to be much easier. So just put a stair there. And then we can have a birch fence on either side of that. You can put one on this side. I don't think I did with mine. No, I didn't at all. But you could do if you wanted to. If you wanted to build one, um, if I have a look at this on this side, you know, you could just do, if you wanted one you could climb up, then you can always do it, say, here. And then have your stuff around like that and then have that way you can go up onto it if you wanted to. Um, it just happens that I haven't on mine, but there's no real reason why why not. It is your kind of choice. So guys, what we'll do now is we will do, I think we'll do the shrouds first because they all kind of tuck in. We've only got um, two sets of them anyway. Uh, this one, I didn't put any shrouds on. You could end up, you know, if you want to build some going up on the on the sides here, but it's always a bit weird with these ones anyway, these kind of sails. These back parts here work a lot better. So let's get onto the shrouds. 
So for the shrouds, what we're going to do first is grab your dark oak slab. I'm actually going to move this over because I put it in the wrong place. So we're just going to remove this slab and put one here. So that's the first little thing we need to do. So one there, move it to there. There we go. We're now going to be doing it properly. So grab yourself some birch fence and just place birch fence directly on top of that one. Build another layer on top, all threes like that. Behind this, have three of them, two and three. Build three on top of that, one, two, three. So it's nice and easy here. Now we're only going to do the first two. We're going to add an extra two on top of that one. Now we're going to connect in two behind the back, one and two, like that. Then we're going to do three sets of two on top of this, one, two, and three, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra one on the side here, like that. Have another two on top of that, around the back now. We're just going to add in two behind those. Then we're going to have two sets of two on top of these last two. So one, two, one, two, like that. Then where we've got this composter, add an extra one onto the side there, like that. Then we're going to have three sets of two on top of just the frontmost. So one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. So three sets of two. And then we're going to have singles going up until we reach that stair that we've got in there, like that. So there we go. So if you guys do want to pause at any point, feel free to do so. Hopefully I've given you enough. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter um, at all. It really doesn't matter. No one's going to notice. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we get three sets on top of the last layer like this. Add another three on top. Then we're going to have three behind this. One, two, and three like that. Build three on top of that. One, two, three. Two on the front most two. One, two, like that. Behind it, have another two. Then have another three sets of two on top of this. One, two, and three like that. Then with the frontmost one, we're going to have an extra one on it like that. Then we're going to have two on top of that. One, two. Not on the last one, not on the one that's closer to the back. Then on the sides, add a two into the back. Then we're going to have another uh, two sets of two on top of that. One, two, one, two. And then while we get this composter, add in an extra uh, composter. Extra composter, extra fence. <laughs> I was thinking that didn't sound right. Then just to add in uh, three sets of two on top of this. So one, two, three, like that. Then we're just going to have single going all the way up until the top. There we go. So that is it for the front set of shrouds like that. Again, if you guys do need to pause, try and give you some good shots of it, I guess. It's kind of a bit difficult. Um, these aren't easy, you know. Rest, of the, you know, holes are easy. These aren't easy because it's all just fences and it all looks the same. And it, I don't know, there's not, not as much definition around everything. Uh, blocks for the win. So anyway, let's go on to the back set. And for the main mast shrouds, what we're going to do is on top of the dark oak slabs here, place three of your birch. Place another two sets of three on top, like that. Then behind this, we're going to attach three on the back. Then we're going to do two sets of three on top of that, like that there. Then on the frontmost one, just add in one fence there like that. On the next two, just put on two on top of those ones. Then behind this, we're going to put on fences on behind of these, including this one down there, like that. Then what we can do is we can connect that one up. So we end up having that connected there like that. We're then going to have three on top. Then this uh, one right at the front, we're going to have another piece of fence there like that. Then we're going to have two just on the front two, so one and two there. Then the one right at the top, uh, uh, right at the front, <laughs> frontmost one, add another fence on top of it. And then just add a fence onto the back of each of these. So we have to fly around here a little bit. Oops. There and there. There we go. So just on the on the back two of those. Then connect those up. Just put the fence piece in there. Then what we're going to do is put in three sets of two on top of this. So one, two, three, like that. Then right here, where you've got your composter, 
put in a fence piece there, then move one across like that. Then what we're going to do is where we've got this one here, we're just going to go straight up with a single set like that. We could, if you wanted to, do a couple doubles there like that. Uh, to be fair, that actually looks better. So we might as well, might as well do that. So there we go, move that there. I'm going to change my model. <laughs> Definitely because I prefer the look of that one. So that's all looking good. So we'll now, actually before I do that, just in case you guys want to do any pauses, so feel free to pause it, check what you've got, or you know if you got a little bit stuck or anything like that, there's a couple, couple angles of the whole thing for you. So you can at least do it. It's mostly down here to be fair, that's the most complicated part of it. Right, onto the other side. So again, where we've got these dark oak slabs, put three on top of that, build up two more sets of Three, so one, two, three, one, two, and three, like that. Put three on the back of this, one, two, and three. Then what we're gonna do is gonna have two sets of three on top of that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then the one right at the front, add in another fence. Then what we're gonna do is these two right at the front, add in another two fences, one and two, just like that. And then add in another fence on top of that one there so you end up getting this like step pattern with this one then what we're going to do is just put a fence on the back of each of these like that whoops not like that like that <laughs> else i can place them like that then we're just going to join one on there and we're going to join these across as well like that so you end up with that all connected up then what we're going to do is we're going to have the same Thing going on so we've got the one there we're going to do um, a set of two on top of this just on the front two one two like that then the frontmost one we're just gonna have one fence piece on there like that so you get the other step pattern going up then we're going to connect these two behind and then connect them across like that then we're going to have sets of two going up the same level as we did on the other side. It's easier to look on the other side. Now we've got these two composters, just put in two fences there like that. And that is it. So again, I will give you some nice little pause points just in case you want to double check what you've got. Uh, but again, guys, it doesn't matter at all. It really, really doesn't matter if you get it spot on or not. Um, not at all. Nobody, Nobody's going to care really. Um, it is a kind of semi-organic looking thing as long as it kind of looks right it's fine so these front two you could probably end up making it look better by you know adding in some extra bits and doing this kind of stuff uh it's just that that's what i went with and i was quite happy with it so i kind of went yep that'll do uh the back mast one i'm much happy with i think it looks a lot better so there we go guys at least that is it for the shrouds so the next bit we've got is the sails to do and now for the sails. So this is a completely organic way of doing it. Um, I've just not been able to do sails in a block by block way ever. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how what my method is. It's a lot better as a method because you can then just do it with any ship uh, rather than just this one in particular. But I'll talk you guys through what you can do to do it anyway. First off, what we need to do is put on this little one at the front. Now I'm sure it's got a really good name in the sailing world. Uh, I just I just have no idea. So that's what we're going to do first. So grab yourself a spruce slab. We're going to go one, two, three, and four off of this one. Have that just one spruce slab either side of it. I wonder if... No, I didn't. I was just wondering if I changed the color of the uh, the block here. But because it's an entire block, my guess is that, that just looked a bit weird uh, putting that in. So that's the reason why. So we're going to have one there. And then going to go out and have two. And on the other side, go forwards and have two sticking out. So we get it a little bit angled. Um, if we're doing tied up sails, what we're going to do for that is just have some white wall blocks just behind it. You know, something like that will do. Maybe even have one on either side, but you don't have to at all. Um, since we're going to be doing this one sticking out, what we'll do is we'll come forwards with just one block here. Like that. I'm actually going to do this and make this a two, I think. That'll look a lot better. There we go. Something like that will do. Then what we'll do is we'll bring it in with one block. So we're just going to make it quite simple. Like that there. Yeah, that looks good. And now what we can do is we can start shaping it. So this is the base pattern, the base block thing. By doing uh, the angle 
with the actual mast itself, it helps break it up. So that's the reason we do that. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to shape it so we can like knock out some of these. We're trying to get rid of these straight lines. Knock this down here because this one's at the front and it's quite small. We're also going to we can add bits to it basically. So like down here we can add a block there. That'll look good. And right here we can add a block and then we can go this way or this way like that. It's nice and easy. And we add in a block there. Uh, who knows? Then we'll start doing it on the other side. So you start just adding in little bits of blocks. Um, I used to on my builds use glass to then tie these ends off to it. Um, I've stopped doing that now because I think it looks just a little bit too messy. But it is something you can do, you know. There's always these different options and it is the way that you want to make it, you know. So there we go. That that I don't like. I don't like how that's going up. There we go. That looks better. So I might have something like that. And I think what we'll probably end up doing is having one block there, one block there. There we go. Something like that will do. That looks good to me. So it's kind of got this more natural shape. And you see what we had before compared to this is totally different. The only thing I might do is just knock that one out and move that forwards perhaps. That looks cool now. So that's that's how we kind of do it. Uh, and that will just finish that one up. So move on to the next one. We're going to start with this topmost one so I can show you guys the technique once you start getting it. Uh, and if you followed any of my other tutorials, you can get this quite quickly, I expect. But we're going to have one and then a two, which is a common pattern that I end up using for the smaller ones. Um, and then what we've got, because we've got these two extra blocks, uh, we can actually, actually gonna make this a three. Um, because we could go out with like one and then come back in with, with another one, but uh, I don't think we'll get, it won't have as much space to, to do everything with it. So we'll do one coming in and not go out all the way. There we go. So you end up with one three and then a one going in. So you get that kind of shape. Um, with these ones, I like to knock out a couple blocks at the top and also a couple blocks at the bottom. Uh, I just think it looks better when we do that. You can then start shaping it around here and add in some of the ones on the sides of this, like, like that there. There we go, that's good. And then we'll do the same on the other side as well. Sometimes it's easier to already have these in, potentially, but it's... Kind of it is what it is. There we go. Look at that nice big straight line there. So we can easily just um, sort that one out. And that looks pretty good already. I just don't like that block. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. So with this one, what we'll do, because well, I'll forget, is grab your oak fence. And you can just put these on the blocks that are showing just to show some sort of connection to the whole thing. You don't have to do it. Sometimes I even forget and you can't tell. So, yeah, it's just the little details. So on to the next one we'll do is have... One block going down, like this. And then we're going to go out with two this time. So because this one's a bit bigger, we can actually play around with it a lot more. Got this going down there. Right, then we'll go with a free block. So we go down with three blocks. Like that, and then out again. Not there. <laughs> Just place them randomly. There we go, this is better. There we go, like that. And now we're going to move inwards. So we'll have one block, I think, going in. And then we'll do another one block uh, after that as our base frame. Um, you can, by the way, guys, variate this anytime you want to. There's no, there's no hard and fast rules with this. It's very much uh, what you think looks best. Go with it. Sometimes it'll, it won't look great, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, you know that is the thing. It's not going to always look perfect every time. So I might have something like that. I'm actually going to cut off an extra two of these either side. Oh, I can hardly see it. There we go. Do something like that. And at the top, I'm going to actually cut out a whole five. Lots of blocks there. There we go. So I'm going to start with the corners. Um, just have these kind of going out like that. Uh, maybe knock that back. Maybe knock that one back. And knock these back as well. There we go. Hmm. Not so sure about that one. Yeah, I can have that there. I think it's because I've got this set of three down here. It doesn't really work. 
Let's have that going there. There we go. And maybe one there. Right. And now from here we can start actually moving things around. It's just easier to get that corner part done first, really. It really is. That is the that's the main bit. Extra block in there. And an extra block there. Yep. Right, cool. And then we'll have one there. Alright, and then we'll start moving these in now. So you can see how it kind of all works. It's like softening out the hard corners, really, because you can, you can, as soon as you, um, you know, get to it, you can then see what's going on, and you can go, ah, oh, yeah, I can, I can do a couple bl mock, uh, block moves, and that will make it so much better. And then you can end up doing stuff like that. There we go. That looks good. Nice and rounded. Looks like there's lots of wind pushing it. I've got this like square bit here, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to leave that one in there like that. So there we go. Those are the first two. Let's go up our oak fence again and whack this in behind it. Like that. There we go. Good. And what we're going to do is the jib, which is this front one now. So this is the diagonal uh, kind of sail. See that I've done this one here. It's really basic, really simple. We're probably going to end up with a very basic and simple one because of the size of the ship. Um, it's not this a small ship, um, but there isn't a lot to a lot to play around with. So just put in some blocks off of that fence and it will then connect in. Then we move this around having it where it's all connecting in. We have an extra block here perhaps. Uh, we might have down here an extra block and an extra block down there and then let's go out a little bit again and then let's oh, and then let's move this in as well. There we go. Something like that will do. It's a bit of a messy one but you can kind of see the idea that we're going for with it. So let's move on to the next one then. So the main mast, big one. So this one, of course, is the top of the big one. So it's not going to be as big. Um, you'll usually find the bottommost one, especially on caravels. They're like, from some of the pictures that I've seen, are just sometimes just have one giant square rigged mast. Right, let's figure out what we're going to do here. I think another two. Yeah, I think we'll go out with another two. Uh, but you will sometimes see just these giant square rigged masts on them, just like single. Um, I decided to do a little bit more refined than that. Uh, let's go with, yeah, go with two going inwards now. Um, just because it just looked right doing it this way, I think. Otherwise it doesn't look as fancy, so it's really difficult when... And you guys, if you've ever tried to make any <laughs> anything from history, um, like a generic type, you'll find there's so much variation going on. And of course, it's because they were, you know, playing around with the design or some of them wanted to have it a certain way, so everything... Everything ends up being quite personalised, which is exactly what you expect, like, today, really. Um, so I'm going to knock out five on the bottom this time. So we have three on the top knocked out, five on the bottom. And we're just going to do the exact same thing where we're just pushing blocks back. And we're going to, like, whoops, there. Um, right, do the same here as well where we push these back. Like that. Knock that one in there. Good. There we go. Maybe do two there. Maybe knock this one back. Maybe push this one forwards. So you just play around with it all the time. Like that. There we go. Cool. Okay. Let's have a look at what that's looking like. Yeah, so we could add an extra one down here. Maybe even an extra one down there as well. Make that a bit chunkier. That's so far. That's looking good. Yeah, that looks good. It's really difficult to tell. And if you're not happy with it, remember you can go back to that base. So for the next one, there's going to be the biggest mast. So we're going to, of course, start with one. I'll always start with one. Um, I never start with anything other than one. It just seems to make the right shape somehow. Um, I'm not really too sure how, but I think it's because of it being such a, a gentle curve that you kind of get with, with sails. Um, it just works. So we've got a one, then we've got a two, and then we're going to go with a three. And make this big quite quickly. And then we'll probably end up going back in again after this. There we go. Like that. I think. 
think this one we're going to go with a two. Yeah, we'll go with a two for this one. It'll make the curve look quite, um, quite gradual, so quite big. Which should be quite good, rather than it being quite sharp. And then we'll just have a one. And this one is more than likely going to be just on the edges, so don't even bother doing it across here. Because we'll end up cutting, cutting out anyway. Like that. Right, so for the top, we're going to cut out the five in the middle. For the bottom, let's cut out an extra two on each side. Then in the middle we'll do a free, so you get a nice big window uh, that you can then walk around um, and walk through, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Right, so let's start with the top first. I'm going to knock this one back and make it feel like it's being pulled in a little bit. We want this one to be back. Do the same here. Have one there. Do one there. Mix, mix these ones in. You'll see that it's quite, you know, once you get going with this uh, technique, there's not really much to it. <laughs> but um, what I've, what kind of like people have said in feedback is that they'd rather see me do it for each individual sale, um, just so they kind of know if they're doing the right thing. Uh, the thing is with this, guys, it doesn't matter if you don't do the right thing. It doesn't matter. No one's going to know. It's not going to matter at all, uh, honestly. So. I think you guys usually put too much pressure on yourself to try and get stuff perfect. And I can tell you, things don't need to be perfect in the world at all. Um, you learn that. The older you get, the more you kind of accept that, I think. Uh, as sad as it sounds. But, you know, it is the truth. Um, stuff that I've done or, or developed, coded, uh, which has never been perfect. But, you know, you can always come back to it at a later date. Uh, the truth is, you probably won't have the time ever to go back to it. If it does the job, it will do the job, and that's what, the same kind of thing. If you do the same kind of thing with Minecraft as well, and you go, yep, yeah, that's good enough for the time being. It doesn't need to be perfect, and you're happy with it. That's cool. It's really cool. Well, I'm just going to add in a couple extra blocks on this one around the sides, I think, because looking at it, it just needs something. I don't know what it needs, but I've done a really bad job on the other side, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to add in a couple extra blocks, perhaps. Like, maybe like that. That's way too many blocks, but there we go. Something like that will do. Yeah, let's get it right. We've got one more. One more last one, which is the spanker, which I always think is just such a funny word. Uh, funny name for it. I must have knocked out a, one of the blocks out of that, shouldn't I? Um, but anyway, so for this one, what we're going to do is we'll start with blocks just right next to the main part of it. Add in a couple extra blocks here. And add in a couple more here. We'll bring this down. And drag that down as well. Right, so we're going to put some blocks in there. And now the idea is that we start pulling everything into this point. So that's where it's getting pulled onto. So we have some blocks in there. This one is already sticking out. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have some blocks there. These ones will go over mostly. And then we'll have one going back to there, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll have these going out. There we go. So now you get this kind of... might get this like flat base. Now, now what we can do is start playing around with it. So I'm going to knock out or knock back a couple of these, and you get the kind of look of that. So this bit looks rubbish, <laughs> absolutely rubbish, but that's fine. We're going to sort it out. Uh, no, that doesn't look good. That maybe looks better. Right, let's push these out. I think it needs a little bit more. We need more to play around with, basically. That's what's going on with this. And that's, I think, why it doesn't look good. Mm, that, that looks okay now. That looks okay. I'm happy with that. That'll do. If we have a look at the other one, totally different. Totally, completely different. Doesn't matter. I'm happy with it. If it, if it, if it works, it works. So there we go, guys. The only other thing you can do, if you wanted to, is... And I'd use Coloured Wall for this, but you can put in... Some sails where you've got the wind. Remember, your wind is blowing this way, this kind of direction. So you can have it going in there and maybe knock those down like that. But you can do, you know, your little flags on the top if you wanted to. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, but I would definitely choose some colours of, like, your nation or uh, or whatever it is. If it's pirate flag, going like, black. Um, but that'll be fine. But, guys, that is it for the sail section. Um, if you did want to add in more sail, you can add in more sail across each of the... 
um, masts. Not so much with this one, there's not really any room, but you could technically probably have a sail going from here to here and then have some in there. Um, with this one, I just didn't see that on the design of caravels, so I decided, you know, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it how it is. But that is it for the sails part of it. So I'll show you guys what I've done with the interior of mine, and then we are done with the tutorial. So, because I haven't got this one in Lord's Port yet, um, I've done the interior on my ship world, which is growing and expanding pretty quickly, actually. I've had to expand it a little bit, which is always good, I guess. So, what I've done uh, interior-wise is I've just done underneath the hull. I haven't done any of the like deck stuff, I haven't put anything around. Um, it depends on where I'm going to put it, whether I'm going to have it moored up or if I'm going to have it, you know, anywhere else. Um, I have put in a small oak trap door as like a skylight on the captain's, captain's cabin. Um, we might as well actually do the hold first. So you might notice that I've got a smoker, a uh, polished blackstone, and then also a, a flower pot on there. That is the um, kind of furnace, the oven. So we go into the hole. I like to close them all. I don't know why, even though I've got to go that way uh, later. So the front part is just got stuff in it. So um, we've got um, the usual kind of things like chests and crafting tables, barrels, things like that, pistons as well. Um, I've got a table in the middle of mine. Um, I wanted to have a, a table for people to sit and have food and stuff. Uh, and then we've got the actual furnace there. This just seemed to be the best place to fit it because as you'll see in the bit, we've got a little bit of a back section. Also got some rope up there. So that's what the birch is for. Uh, lots of rope that we've got in here and bits of cargo around uh, the place. So a couple of like, shelves there, lots of water or rum or, or some sort of liquid. Um, I ended up blocking off this little back section here. And that's so I could have in some bunk beds. Obviously, these would be more, or more likely be, you know, um, doohickeys, uh, what are they called? Hammocks. There we go. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, but, you know, we we're in Minecraft, so these are going to do for, you know, you get the idea instantly with these. That's the reason I've gone with them. Uh, bigger ships I'll put in natural wall to kind of do the same kind of thing. Uh, chest in the back there, and more stuff in the back, pretty much. It's just all stuff. So it's pretty standard for one of my ships ship holds really um not much there but of course we have got the captain's cabin so what i've done in here is i've actually split it into a couple rooms so where we've got the mass that's where i've used it as the separation between the two in here i've got a small little room so this will be one of the offices of some kind um so yep they've got a nice little beehive there with some stuff in there in this one we've got a cartography table and in the back is the captain's cabin itself so what I went with with this bed, ended up putting a desk. Um, it's quite cramped, but you can get around to all of it. Um, so we've got a desk in there with a nice little flower pot, little chest, bookcase, and uh, another chest at the top here. And it's got the skylight just for, well, why not? <laughs> so that's what I've gone with for that. It is pretty cramped though, so, um, you know, it is what it is. It kind of works. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with this ship in general. So it's all looking good. And um, hopefully, guys, if you do enjoy this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy the next one that's coming up, which is just a larger version of it. Uh, quite a bit larger as well. But uh, yeah, all looking good for all of these ships. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, guys, as always, I will see you on the next one. Later.